Hey everyone, it's Ebony here, your Plan Hike TA, and this is the intro video for the genus Artemisia. We are going over three different species. There's a different video for each species, and I have just a slide here for each of those, just so you can kind of get a close-up look of what they look like. But before I get into that, I do want to make a clarification because I don't think that it was clear in the video, number one, and number two in the video for uh, Artemisia californica, I switched the terms. And that's the difference between a leaf and a leaflet, okay? So this right here is a leaf, and this right here is a leaf. So the leaf is the entire stem, okay? And then each individual one is a leaflet all right so this whole thing is a leaf and this is a leaflet this is a leaflet this is a leaflet and if we're looking at this is a um this is artemisia californica so this right here everything that's coming out of this little knot this is the leaf and then each tiny little wisp is a leaflet so this is one leaflet of the entire leaf this is one leaflet of the entire leaf. I hope that that makes sense. Once again, this would be a leaflet and the entire part coming out of the, um, the little knot, I know that's not the correct botanical term, but that's what I'm gonna call it. That would be the leaf, okay? So I did get those confused um, or backwards in the videos. I'm sorry about that, but feel free if you don't quite understand it to um, reach out to me. And let me know. Okay, so we have Artemisia californica. This goes by the common name sage brush. Some people do just cut off the brush and call it a sage, but that can get really, really confusing. And I have a whole nother video on that. So Artemisia californica, just for clarification purposes, if we're gonna call it by a common name, we're gonna call it a sage brush. And just make sure you really like look at how that looks. All the Artemisia species look kind of different. Now we have Artemisia douglasiana, which has the common name California mugwort. Now there are many, many different mugworts. And even some of those mugwort uh, species like Artemisia vulgaris is sometimes called California mugwort. And there's Western mugwort. And so, you know, this genus is just, it's vast, and it's a lot of information, but if, if you can sort it out um, individually, it starts to come together and make sense. And Artemisia douglasiana is abundant in Los Penasquitos Canyon, and because we had so much rain, I like this is a photo that I took, like the plants are huge this year, so it's really exciting. And then we have Artemisia drunkalunculus, which is wild tarragon. And this is another plant. Um, you see how different this looks from the, from the other two? Uh, this plant also was really big when I um, got to, encountered it in the canyon today. So that was really exciting. So once again, let me just go back just to make sure we have it. We have Artemisia californica, which is a sagebrush. We have Artemisia douglasiana, which is California mugwort. And then we have Artemisia drunkalunculus, which is wild tarragon. So those are the three species that we go over in the videos. Artemisia is just underappreciated, I feel like, and especially since it's in such abundance here in SoCal, it has so many medicinal properties. It's a bitter. It's a menagogue. It's it is a uterine stimulant. So just it is contraindicated during pregnancy. However, like I said in the video, um, natives would give it when women were in labor because it does strengthen those uterine contractions. Um, I think that once you get into researching this plant, you realize how amazing they are so amazing and then one last thing i have a video of sages or true sages versus sage brush because they're in two different families 
and the common names often get confused. So I want to make sure that we get those ingrained in our head and so that we can really know the difference between a true sage and a sagebrush. Now it is windy in the canyon and there are some helicopters and planes flying over when I recorded the videos. Uh, however, I feel like you should be able to still hear everything that I'm saying, but as usual, feel free to email me. You know my email address and let me know if you have any questions. Enjoy the videos.